Well, listen, let's get started. To everybody take a nice deep breath in, sit up straight, bring your shoulders up, <coughs> pull them around, put your head back, and then to the side, and front, and to the side, the other side, back, all the way around. All right, there we go. And you gotta take one more deep breath in and exhale. And this is a song about when, you know, there isn't sunshine out there, but you guys are my sunshine, all right? And I hope you, you're each other's sunshine today, okay? And so this is an old song about you are my sunshine. So it goes like this. You are my sunshine. Oh, right. I forgot to tell you, we've got a new person. Sing along. And I know it's different because it's Zoom and stuff, but sing along if you know it. All right. Goes like this. And a one and a two and a three. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. The other night, dear, I was sleeping. I dreamt I held you in my arms. When I awoke, dear, I was mistaken, and I hung my head, and I cried a little sad. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sun shine away all right were you singing out there Ooh, now you're totally frozen anybody singing out there yes oh good yes. Well, i got another song it's a little newer that song was probably about 100 years old this song's only about 50 years old maybe 45 and this is about when you got sunshine on a cloudy day, right? When it's cold outside, you run the way. Remember this one? It's called My Girl. But you guys, we're gonna um, we're gonna go side to side, okay? Hang on, we're gonna get this. This was done by the good old Temptations. Oh my gosh, dude, I love those guys. They're supposedly still around in some form or another. They keep being replaced, but I like the original Temptations. They were the best. And this song is such a good one for this cloudy day. Okay, goes like this. Now I need you guys um, clapping or, or snapping and not napping. So can you move your hands side to side like this? Just side to side like this. Okay, and then you go. I got sunshine on a cloudy day when it's cold outside. I got the month of May. I guess you say what can make me feel this way my girl my girl my girl talking about my girl my girl i've got so much honey the bees envy me i got a sweeter song than the birds in the trees everybody sing i guess you'd say what can make me feel this way? My girl, everybody sing. My girl, my girl, talking about my girl, my girl. I've got so much honey, the bees envy me. I've got a sweeter song, baby, than the birds in the tree last time. 
I guess you'd say what can make me feel this way, my girl, my girl, my girl. I'm well, late. Out, my girl, my girl. I'm gonna go like this. All right, I can hear you. Yes, you're singing. That makes me so happy. Maybe the student nurse doesn't know, or maybe she does, um, that singing is downright good for you. It's healthful. Yep, they did a big study about that. And they found out that when you sing, your vital signs go up, your blood pressure goes down, and we just generally feel better. So we're going to sing and we're going to try to dance a little bit in our chairs, okay, because that's good too, a little movement, right? And we're celebrating tomorrow, it's Earth Day. And we're celebrating the big, beautiful Earth that we live in. Wait a second, I gotta get my hat. All right, so what are we gonna do for Fred Day? <laughs> oh, hello, I'm back with some hair. Oh, so, I wore my blue dress and my blue hat because this is a, you know, when you look out from space, that, that uh, picture they took in 1969, you see our little planet, you know, from the moon, remember that old picture? And it's the blue planet. It's got the oceans and all that good stuff. So we have to sing about our beautiful earth. So I'm getting my green hat on so I can sing to you guys. Now this song is about the wonder of the earth. And this song was done by Mr. Louis Armstrong many, many years ago, but it's still true to this day, okay? It's about the beauty of the earth. And it goes like this. And then the roses and people and all the different people that are walking this earth. It goes like this. I see trees of green, red roses too. I watch them blue for me and for you. And I say to myself, what a wonderful world. Everybody say that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I see skies oh, yeah. of blue and clouds of white. The bright blessed day, the dark sacred night. And I say to myself, what a wonderful world. The colors of the rainbow so pretty in the sky are also on the faces of people passing by. I see friends shaking hands saying, how do you do? They really say, I love you. I hear babies oh. cry. I watch Bring them grow. They'll learn much more than we'll ever know. And I say to myself, what a wonderful world. That's right. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Right. Thanks for singing along, you guys. It's, it's interesting hearing it on this end. I, I hope you can hear me better than I can hear you because I'm telling you. It is loud and clear, Toots. What, dear? Loud, what? Loud, loud and clear, Toots. Okay, that's great. That is wonderful. So we got to sing a lot of songs oh, about the earth. And I have, I've done this one a lot lately, but um, I want to sing it again because it gets us moving first thing in the morning. All right, and this is about one of my favorite birds that is making a lot of noise out there. In fact, actually, I'm going to give you a homework assignment right now. Okay, so after this class and you get out of the center, make sure, you're, sure you listen to the birds, you smell the flowers, because spring is everywhere, right? So make sure you do this, and maybe you'll see um, Rock and Robin. So everybody put your hands here like this. Can you put your hands like this? Wayne, can you put your hands on your shoulders? Annie, okay. And then, so we're gonna kind of bounce like this because this is about Rock and Robin, okay? 
and all that rocking that he does. And a one and a two and a three. He rocks in the treetop all night long, hopping and a bopping and a singing his song. All little birds on Jaybird Street love to hear the robin go. Everybody say it. Tweet, 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 rock and robin. Tweet, 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 rock and robin. Tweet, 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 tweet. go rock and robin. You can really rock them down tonight. Tweet, 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 the pretty little raven at the birdland dance taught him how to do the bop. It was ground. They started going steady and it blessed my soul. They out rocked the buzzard and the oriole. The rocks in the tree oh, all oh. night long. Hopping and a bop and a singing in the song. All little birds on the laybird street love it. Rock and robin. Tweet, 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 rock and robin. Tweet, 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 rock and robin. Tweet, tweet. Oh, rock and robin, you can really rock down tonight. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Yeah. All right. Did you guys get some dancing? Did you do some dancing, Wayne? Yeah? It's so funny. I have to tell you, from this end, it looks like Wayne is frozen, going tweet, tweet, tweet. But I know he's still moving. Hmm. All right, technology, you got to love it when it works, and it's so funny when it doesn't, okay? That's all I have to say. <laughs> all right, well, I'm going to change hats because I'm, I got to do, I love to go out to the country in the spring of the year because, oh, wait, I'm changing my hat. Okay, because, you know, sometimes it's nice to be out in different parts of the country that you don't usually see. And we're lucky in California because we've got all kinds of different terrain. And one of the places I like to go is the desert. Looks like it's just me now. I don't know what happened to you guys, but I hope you'll sing along. This is like we're going to ride into the desert on our horse. But all of a sudden, we can't keep our cowboy hat on because guess what? That desert wind is a blowing. Goes like this. And if you know it, sing it. Okay. Mariah. That's the chorus. Mariah. They call the wind Mariah. Way out west, they have a name for wind and rain and fire. The fire is peak. The rain is Joe, and they call the wind Mariah, Mariah, Mariah. They call the wind Mariah. Before I heard Mariah's name and heard her wail and whining, I had a gal and she had me and the sun was always shining. And then one day I left that gal, I left her far behind me. And now I'm lost, so doggone lost, not even God can find me. Everybody sing, Mariah, Mariah. They call the wind Mariah. Well, I bet you guys have felt that wind because a lot of you guys have traveled lots of different places. But I tell you, when I was out there in the spring of the year and it was something, it was blowing all over the place and we were having a great time because we went to the desert, we took the kids and we were exploring caves and finding lizards, and we were with our friend George, and he he was how he had his own tent, and my daughter had her little friend Jeanette. She was ten, my son was four, and um, we had our own tent. And like I said, we were exploring all these different places, and we came home to our camping spot, and sure enough, the tent, I guess the wind there, whoosh, Mariah, had blown the tent down. And it was sitting in a puddle. And I thought, oh boy, I guess we're going to have to go to a uh, motel now. 
which I was actually secretly thinking that would be a lot of fun because it'd be great to have a hot shower, right? And, uh, but no, my husband and his friend, our friend, picked up the tent, took, made a big fire in the fire pit. And you know what they did? They dried it over the fire, right? They held it up this way, held it up that way. And they dried the tent and they put it back in the stakes. And sure enough, you know, we spent, we were gonna spend another night there. But that night, it started to really, you know, the wind was kind of blowing. And I said to my husband, I think we should go to a motel because this is really, you know, I think it might be really windy tonight. And he said, oh, come on, you love this. You know, we'll go out and buy those special sausages they have at that little place down the road and we'll have a sausage grill and we'll make some potatoes on the fire and have s'mores, you know, nothing like talking to my stomach, right? And, and so sure enough, they, we did that and um, it was a beautiful dinner and we were finishing up our dinner and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, here comes the wind. And, and all of a sudden, we got wind in our eye. We got wind in our nose. We got wind in our mouth. We got wind everywhere, every place. And we literally couldn't stay outside. And it was only about seven o'clock in the evening, but we had to go into our tents and zip them up tight, right? Well, we had my friend George, our friend George had his own little, had, this was a backpacker tent. And so he was fine. But the, and my daughter and her girlfriend, like I said, they were 10 years old, but they had their own little pup tent. And they went in their tent and about five minutes, I hear my daughter going, mom, our tent blew down. And I said, okay, Josie, that's my daughter. I said, go in to the van and you guys can sleep in the van. And I thought, well, that'll work, I guess, you know, cause they're little and they can drag their sleeping bags in there and kids can sleep just about anywhere, right? Well, that worked for them for a minute. And then all of a sudden our tent, my husband, myself, and my son were in the same tent. And all of our sudden, all of a sudden, our tent just go, <laughs> and we are sitting there looking at our tent like two inches from our nose because it blew completely down. And so I said to my husband, well, you're the one who wanted to stay here tonight. So you better go out there and fix the tent. <laughs> and so he gets up there and it's like, he's holding on to the, um, the ropes of a ship. And, he, and the ship is being knocked by the wind and the waves. And he's like, <laughs> you know, he's pushing the, that like that. And he's trying to take, take the tent and put it, you know, rope it down, you know, and he tried to stake it to some um, picnic benches, right? And he thought he got it in there. And so the tent was up again. And uh, despite, and I have to tell you something, folks, despite all this, woo, all this stuff, guess what my little boy was doing? He was sleeping. That dude could sleep through anything at that age. I don't know what he's, how he's sleeping now, but boy, oh boy, he slept through anything. And anyway, so Jack got back in the tent. He's my husband and he had just fixed it and it's standing up and gets back in his sleeping bag. And sure enough, here comes another gust. And the wind goes, I mean, the tent goes and it's on our nose. And so he get up and he did it again. And sure enough, the same thing happened again. And the tent just went down again. And I said to my husband, I said, let's just get in the car and drive to the motel. It's only like 15 miles away. And George can sleep here, you know, and he's fine in his little tent. And my husband goes, I'm afraid. I think the car will be blown off the road. And I'm like, oh, my God. And so I slept like this all night long. My eyes, I didn't sleep a wink, actually. I was just sitting there praying that I'd be okay and listening to the wind howl. And finally, about four in the morning, the wind stopped. And it, oh, good, hello. 
Hello. Because 